without more ado, I want, I want to just say that we're very privileged to be here in the garden of Martin and Penny. And I think you agree the setting is fantastic. So. And I should, in, I should now introduce our chairman, Hotfoot from Ireland, who is going to now uh, set off the proceedings and uh, allow me to sit down and have a glass of wine. Uh, Eamon. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Heart May Voice Choir 40th anniversary celebrations. Um, it's great to see so many people here and especially so many ex-choristers. Could I please ask the ex-choristers to be upstanding so that people can see who they are and where they are? Thank you very much. I'm not going It includes a late arrival just at the gate down there at the door, Bob Edwards. Hi, Bob. Um, it's also great to see so many associate members, um, and I'm delighted that you're all here. It's very sad that unfortunately Bob Yeomans, who was our very first associate member, is ill and couldn't join us, but I'm sure you'll all want to join me in sending Bob our best wishes for a speedy recovery. Right. Um, I've got on my notes here, please can you also give a very warm welcome to Mike Wallace, who was our accompanist back in the 80s. Unfortunately, Mike hasn't arrived. A few, a few people haven't arrived, and I understand the reason may be that there is a big cycle race in London today. All the roads are closed. Um, I know somebody has just arrived a short time ago, and it's taken them two hours to get here. Um, I did say to them, I used to have a car like that, um, <laughs> but it fell on empty years. Uh, right, my next line is I'm delighted to, to welcome Hayden James, and um, who's arranged much of our repertoire. Hayden lives in Sunbury, I believe, and he's probably one of the casualties. Uh, but hopefully he will arrive later when I'll introduce him again. There's another lady uh, with us today, whom some of you may remember. She was with us for a short time as our musical director. Um, can you please give a very, very warm welcome to Valerie Hoppy and her husband, Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're all very anxious to get on with the eating, so I'm going to stop there, hand you back to our master of ceremonies, David Byrne Smith. Please do enjoy yourselves, have a great party, and we'll talk again later. Derek Gray to come and join us up here. Where's Derek? Are you, Derek, are you still able to walk? Are you alright? I know, I, I know you know your jacket on your melt. Anyway, he hasn't got that old brown blazer with a brown shirt. Uh, I told you he was a bit unsteady on his feet. Fancy meeting you. Fancy meeting you here, Derek. Derek. Says something about you here. It's all lies. No, it's not as true. No, Derek actually joined the choir 40 years ago in June of next year. So we're a bit premature, if you like. But we thought that it would be appropriate on this special occasion to sort of, A, congratulate Derek on 40 years of hard work and service to the choir. He has sung, I think, in every section. Sorry, can I correct that? He has stood in every <laughs> section. 40 years of undetected mime. <laughs> it's not true, it's been detected right from the very first year. Even at his audition, that's why he passed his audition. He didn't actually do anything, he just mimed. Anyway, Derek, congratulations and thank you for a long and loyal service to Heart Maple Squire. Uh, if you need a 
any assistance with uh, disposing of this bottle. <laughs> I am at your disposal. Well, no, don't be. It's nice to be the car. He likes red wine. He doesn't like that stuff. Yeah. Well done, Barry. Now, I believe that, uh, David, there's a cake that we need to cut. Hold it at Margaret, can you join me here? Get hold of this sword. Get hold of this sword. I'm just doing it to let Margaret get hold of this sword. It's better enough for me having a hold of it. Bottles have probably been open and popping and this, that, and the other. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please to make sure that your glasses are charged with champagne, preferably? And then, can you be upstanding? Okay. To heart, may vos choir. I all know that these things don't just happen. There's an awful lot of work goes in in the background, and I'd like to thank Richard Botham and his team for all their hard work. Richard is not here, as I said earlier. Uh, he's away celebrating his birthday with his wife, Julie, and a few friends. But I think we can still put our hands together to say thank you to Richard. And his team, David and Susan Fitzpatrick. David and Palm Bowden Smith. <laughs> Keith and Leslie Owen. <laughs> and for his wonderful sound system, John Evans. <laughs> now, all their hard work and all their efforts would have been a total waste of time if they didn't have this magnificent venue. So, can you please now raise the roof to say thank you to Martin Rickards and Penny for coming forward, please. to uh, have a song, an appropriate 40th year song, from some, a couple of guests, presenters, Mike Morgan and Judith. We've been together now for 40 years, and it don't seem a day to Our regular Wednesday outing It's a dear good old choir And I'll tell you all about it It's 40 years since first we met 
Our hair was then as black as jet. It's whiter now, but we don't fret. Not our old one. We've been together now for forty years, and it don't seem a day too long. Cause there ain't a choir singing in this land that has so much fun in song. Checkers was our home. We went from five to fifty. Our directors trained us well, and the choir gained notability. <laughs> we travelled far, we sang at sea, we won competitions memorably, which all left us so thirsty. <laughs> Yes, our old choir. We've been together now for forty years, and we don't seem a day too long. Cause there ain't a choir singing in this land that has so much fun in song. No, there ain't a choir. France, Holland, Germany, Sweden, South Africa, Spain. <laughs> I forgot, Wales. <laughs> Wales, Cornwall, Portugal, our songs did entertain. We're celebrating here today, but soon again we're on our way to Ireland, where we'll proudly say we're hot male voice choir. opportunity for the choir to sing.
ladies and gentlemen, this is the final segment of our day. Some people would call this the highlight, but others might want to make a movie out of it. Now, we have many, many talented singers to perform for you this afternoon. But, before they arrive, I'd first of all like to introduce you to our first singer, a very popular former second tenor, Les Salmon. It's a national institution, Australian through and through. Come on, mate, grab your plate, let's have a barbecue. Come on, mate, grab your plate, let's have a barbecue. Oh, 
anyway, um, I brought the Whippet with me. Now, I've got to warn you, she's a bit nervous and shy, so I don't want any raucous cat calls or noise whatsoever. I'll just go and get it, so bear with me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Can you get the food for I've got a little whippet that never won a race But you haven't seen a whippet with a bonnie little face She's just a bit short-sighted and it shows up on the track But when she gets her contact lenses, man, you'll never hold her back I've got a little whippet, she's a wee bit slow And what it is about her, well, I just don't know She'll never be a canine churl, Cole, you will agree. But I love that little whippet, and she loves me. seeing you, most of you, on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Another break. <laughs> 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 